Hey guys, let's go and schedule Lambda function, which is going to find unused Elastic IPs in the account. I'm going to create a schedule in CloudWatch dashboard that you're going to integrate with a Lambda function. Lambda function will have the script, Python script, to find Elastic IPs which are not in use. Send that information through email using simple email service. Let's get started with creating IAM role for Lambda function. A Lambda function need access to CloudWatch logs, uh, Amazon simple email service, and also it requires access to describe addresses to fetch Elastic IPs from EC2. For this demonstration, I have created a brand new workspace. The example we're gonna build is uh, using Terraform 0.12 version. All of previous examples are based on uh, 0.11, okay? Uh, for this example, from this example onwards, I'm gonna use syntaxes which is gonna support from 0.12 onwards. I have created provider.tf containing AWS provider the region where I want to create this stack. Now let's go and create IAM role for our Lambda function. I have created IAM.tf. We are creating a policy. In policy, we have three statements. One statement for CloudWatch logs. The second statement for describe addresses. And third statement is send email permissions using simple email service. Then I want to create IAM role provided all details, logical name, role name and assume role policy. This is going to be used by Lambda function. So under principle service, we need to use Lambda. We have role, we have policy, we need to attach the role and policy. I am role is ready. After that, we need to create Lambda function. We are using data archive file for creating a zip. We're going to upload this zip file for our uh, Lambda function deployment. Okay, so I have this script. I'll go through this later on. For now, this piece of code is creating a zip, which includes a Python script. Okay, then we are using resource for creating Lambda function resource. I have given logical name. So file name, instead of hard coding, I'm getting it from here. This one, output path. Function name, role, IAM role, which is created in IAM. This one. AWS underscore IAM underscore role dot unused EIPs underscore role. Then handler, the function name is Lambda handler. The script name is unused EIPs. That's the script name and the function name inside that one is lambda underscore handler. We are using source code hash. So this one is uh, important and required. If I don't put this, every time I run Terraform apply, it will deploy this lambda function even if there are no new changes. So this piece of code will make sure there are no changes, then don't deploy. If there are changes, only then deploy. That's the reason I have this code inside our AWS Lambda function. Then runtime, I want to use Python 3.8. Then environment variables to send email using simple email service. We need source email and we do need destination email. In this example, I'm using same email ID for source as well as destination. So this will create a function 
by referring to a role using this jip okay then we need to go to the python script itself i need to describe addresses on ec2 i'm getting its client i need to send email using simple email service i'm getting its client from environment variables see here i am declaring environment variables under lambda function that i am accessing inside my code source email destination email uh, first we are describing addresses from addresses we are looking for unused elastic ips so from this response this is a function we are using scroll down see in the response section instance id if elastic ip is associated with ec2 the response will contain this key inside the dictionary we are looping through addresses in every object we are checking for this key if it is not there meaning elastic ip is not associated to any ec2 instance we are adding that to eip's list then if this is not empty i am using simple email service client sending email i need to provide source mail id which is uh, coming from lambda environment variable destination mail id that's also coming from lambda environment variable message in that subject unused elastic ips and body this is of type text so directly i'm converting list into string and passing it as a body if we want to have a a tabular format output in our email then we can use email templates for that before we integrate our lambda function with a scheduler let's apply changes and make sure nothing going wrong because this is brand new project let's run terraform in it it has to initialize our plugins if there are any backends all that initialization let's run terraform apply this could take few seconds to minutes let's wait resources got created let's check lambda function in aws management console we have the function created and our code is deployed successfully right now there is no trigger for this we need to add a scheduler and make it as a trigger for lambda function this is the code for uh, a scheduling lambda function so i am creating cloudwatch event rule we are running it every 1 minute this we need to adjust keep it optimal so every 1 minute may not be a good option for this i mean the reason to keep it 1 minute it's easy to test i don't have to wait for hours to hours or days to days to test it then this schedule i want to link with the target so target is lambda function i'm doing that here so rule i'm pointing to this rule giving a unique target id and the target itself is lambda function meaning this schedule is integrated with lambda function uh, we need to allow our cloudwatch scheduler to invoke lambda function for that i am creating this resource which grants permissions to invoke lambda function now let's go ahead and execute the code execution completed let's go and check its details in aws management console let's check the trigger section 
uh, event bridge cloudwatch events click on that expand and see it is scheduled this lambda function is invoked at one minute rate every minute it's going to invoke it one important note is for sending emails okay through simple email service this source email address needs to be verified in SES go to mail addresses my mail ID is already verified so if you want to verify new email address click on verify new email address provide your mail ID click on verify this mail address it sends a mail to the provided mail ID follow the instruction there click the link and it gets verified after mail ID got verified we can use that mail ID in our lambda function as a source email ID to send email notifications I got email from our scheduled lambda function these are the elastic IPs which are not in use thank you see you in next use case